I am Anil Kumar and in this video we will see how the surface area changes if we change uh, the figure, right? So we have a three dimensional figure here made with the help of some cube blocks. So we have six cube blocks here, one, two, three, four, five, six. Volume of each is one unit cube and the surface area, one surface area is area of one face I should say is one unit square. So individually total surface area for each block is six since it has six surfaces, right? Top, bottom, two sides, two sides, correct? You can say front, back, sides, top and bottom. So we have six surfaces. Each surface has area of one unit square. If that is the case, then you need to find surface area of this block So and the volume. As far as the volume is concerned, it's combination of all six. So we know volume is six unit cube. So that is not a problem. Surface area. How do we calculate surface area? To find surface area, we can find area of the top. So it is three times two, right? And we have two of those. So three times two is six. So we have two of three times two. That is top and bottom. If you consider these sides, so we have one time two, right? And there are two, right, on the sides. So one times two. And then front and back, you have three times one. So two, since one is at the back, one is at the front. So we have three times one. So all these add up to give you surface area. So if you add them up, three times two is six. One times two is two. Three times one is three. And when you multiply by two, so all this equals to 3 times 2 is 6, 6 plus 2 is 12, 2 times 2 is 4, and 3 times 2 is 6. So you, when you add them up, what do you get? You get 10 and 22, correct? So the surface area is 22, and the units will be unit square. So that is how you find the surface area. Now the question for you is, I will make two different formations and you have to answer how surface area changes. Does it increase or decrease? So if I place them one or let us say on the side. So or or let me say like this instead of uh, like this if I split them apart. So I now make two different rows of these blocks. So there are six individuals but three are put together and then the three are put together. If that is the formation then you have to tell me by how much the surface area increase. Does it increase or decrease? That is one of your questions, right? The other question for you is kind of like this. We started with this particular block, correct? Now, if I remove if I remove some blocks from here, let us say if I remove this block, one of the blocks, then what happens to the surface area? Does it increase or decrease? If so, by how much? So that is your next question. So we have two questions here. One is when we uh, show them separately, that means we move them away. Then by how much surface area increases and the second one is that we just remove one of the blocks if we remove one of the blocks correct all others remain same in that case how the surface area changes okay so that is your question to work on thank you and all the best